Active weather conditions will be taking us into the Memorial Day weekend. Note that we're not expecting high impacts, but there are going to be some moderate areas, especially here as we head into our Thursday. One of those moderate impacts is a high wind event. We are seeing that some gusts over 40 miles per hour will be likely, especially for more of our wind prone areas. So do stay wary that traveling a blowover risk will be in place. But what's initiating those strong winds is a frontal system passage, which is going to continue to keep our temperatures closer to seasonal. All the way through Saturday. We'll have some time for the sunshine, but we are timing out some spotty chances for some showers and thunderstorms through Sunday before next week is where we have more of a summer like trend in place as we will be heading back to see our high temperatures above 70 degrees. Now our Thursday, we're going to be near normal into those mid 60s, but what we see in place is that we have a nice southwesterly flow to start the day. That's what helps to bring those temperatures up, but then cold front passes quickly. We can see that southwesterly trend to that northwesterly trend that does fire up a chance for some showers and thunderstorms and we can see that switch there from that two o'clock to about six o'clock time frame where even gusts will be getting over 40 miles per hour. So high wind concerns do line up along that I-25 corridor as well as in our wind prone areas of I-80. So again, blow over risk concern for high profile vehicles is going to be the biggest concern as these gusts will be, uh, especially starting by the morning hours towards areas of Casper and Rollins and then spreading even towards the Nebraska Panhandle by the afternoon. But we start with that southwesterly flow, so that does push in a little bit more of that trending for a warmer environment. But here's your frontal system there, a little bit of some mixed precipitation and even some mountain snow showers there possible. And then as that system passes, it could fire up an isolated shower thunderstorm. It is expected to be sparse, so do stay wary that those storms, especially along a front, can pop up pretty quickly, especially when we can still talk about a little bit of a warmer environment here across the Nebraska Panhandle. So that will be the zone to keep yourself wary of rumbles and if you hear that thunder roar head indoors those off towards more of the west and northwest much cooler with that frontal system already in place to start our Thursday that could even allow for some little mixed spots there for areas of Rollins and Medicine Bow now into our Friday behind that frontal system note that we start the day off with a chilly morning uh, potential there again dropping towards those lower 40s to those lower 30s but Friday should be able to bring in some brighter skies and again seasonable temperatures looking at though not trending to see much for 70s there. Isolated rumble there possible from areas of Laramie through Cheyenne. Nothing that is expected to be strong. Friday, largely drier day, but cooler touch, more of that spring-like feel. And then we have another storm system that will be setting up Saturday and Sunday. This may have the potential of some stronger storms. We're still watching the variables with this storm system as temperatures, again, stay seasonal, still with some mixed sunshine. But Memorial Day is looking like the more pleasant day as we'll see some warming into next week.